Intel users are bound for at least a minor performance decrease, and some with a pretty major one, and older AMD owners are having issues with the patch. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before you get started, make sure to follow me on Twitter for more up-to-date news and to see what's going on with all things GamerMeld. Plus, since it takes me a while to script out a video, then record it and edit it, I put some tidbits of information to give you an idea of what's up, so make sure to check that out. Okay, let's get into today's stories. For those who haven't seen my older videos concerning the exploits recently blown open by Linux kernel groups and originally found by Google's Project Zero as well as a few other teams last year, you can check those out. But a quick overview is that three major exploits, now called Meltdown or Variant 3 and Spectre separated into Variant 1 and 2, were found to be possible based on the way modern CPU architecture is made. And this includes Windows, Linux, pretty much everything. This is mostly a CPU issue. Now, while the exploits could be pretty bad when it comes to security, because it's ultimately a hardware issue, the only way to fix it via software is essentially hurting the performance of your CPU. At first, it seemed Intel was the only chip manufacturer that would be affected, but as the story unfolded, AMD may be as well, but at least to a lesser extent it seems. Well, it's been about a week, and both Intel and Microsoft had made statements regarding the issue, with this being Intel's third update. With these, we're learning the amount of impact this could have, and it's not good, at least for some. Starting things off, Intel discussed benchmarks they've done through Sysmark 2014, and using their 8th generation processors with a solid state drive, they see a performance impact of 6% or less. Then they further clarify that performance on individual tests range from 2 to 14%, though the 14 could easily be like an anomaly, so the 6% could really ring true. Of course, do keep in mind that this is just a synthetic benchmark, and from what both Intel and Microsoft says, the average user shouldn't notice any significant impact. Well, kind of. I have one issue with how Intel decided to do their benchmarks. There's a reason they chose to benchmark the newest generation CPUs, which actually brings me to Microsoft's update. In a post from Terry Meyerson, the executive vice president of Windows, writes, and I quote, Variant 1 and Variant 3 mitigations have minimal performance impact, while Variant 2 remediation, including OS and microcode, has a performance impact. Now, what is that performance? Well, on Windows 10 with Skylake, Kaby Lake, or newer, quote, show single-digit slowdowns, but we don't expect most users to notice a change because these percentages are reflected in milliseconds. Okay, well, that's not too bad. But he goes on further to say, and I quote, with Windows 10 on older silicon, some benchmarks show more significant slowdowns, and we expect that some users will notice a decrease in system performance. Wow, um, so now we're talking possibly a noticeable difference in what sounds like day-to-day -day impact. That's not good. Well, he actually goes on to say even more, and I quote, With Windows 8 and Windows 7 on older silicon, we expect most users to notice a decrease in system performance. Wow, uh, so basically a ton of users are going to be affected. I mean, we're talking 2015 and older CPUs will possibly be noticed, even on Windows 10. That basically sucks. And the bad news actually doesn't stop there. While patches for AMD CPUs don't seem like they'll hurt performance, though AMD has been pretty quiet lately about that, there are updates needed to protect from one or two of the possible exploits. Well, as Microsoft issued patches, they began getting tons of reports. Unbootable PCs. Specifically, ones running off older AMD processors like the Athlon X2 6000 Plus. Well, Microsoft effectively blamed it on AMD thanks to their documentation provided for their chipsets. AMD has confirmed an issue, but didn't make any statements regarding blame, so I'd assume Microsoft is correct. Either way, Microsoft has stopped the updates from rolling out to those CPUs until they can fix the problem. So yeah, tons of issues surrounding these exploits and their fixes, but one thing is for certain, you'll want to stay tuned as we learn more. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Upset your CPU may be losing performance? Or just want to drop in GPU prices? Anyone? J just me? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.